Hello, everyone. Hi, everyone. We'll get started now. I'm Cheryl Barnes, Director of Digital Learning and Residential Education in the Office of Open Learning. We coordinate this event each year with the Office of the Vice Chancellor to bring MIT instructors, students, and staff together to talk about innovation in teaching and learning at MIT and beyond. Two housekeeping notes. One is we are recording this session, so if you don't want to be on the recording, the seats in the back are the ones for you. Also, um, we'd really like to know who's here today. We're sending around some clipboards, so if you wouldn't mind writing down your name, let us know who's here, that would be great. So thank you all for coming. It's really wonderful to see everyone here in person. Special thanks to Jovi Nazareno and Aaron Kessler, who did a lot of awesome work to turn out uh, this event today. So if you don't mind, just a brief round of applause for Jovi and Aaron. <laughs> Woo! I, I see Aaron and Jovi's probably somewhere else doing something that needs to be done right now. Um, it's a great honor. It's my great honor and pleasure to have Melissa Nobles, MIT's Chancellor and Class of 1922 Professor of Political Science here to open the Festival of Learning. She has another commitment this morning, so she'll just be here for a few minutes. We're thankful and excited to hear from her. As Chancellor, she oversees all aspects of undergraduate and graduate student life and learning. So without further ado, I give you Chancellor Nobles. Thank you, Cheryl, and good morning, everyone. It's really uh, wonderful for me to be here today to join you in the, to kicking off the sixth annual uh, Festival of Learning. And I appreciate all of the excellent work that our colleagues in Open Learning and the Office of the Vice Chancellor have done to make this event possible. I'm also cre incredibly thankful to MIT students, faculty, and staff for, their, for your hard work, for your flexibility, and for your perseverance over the past several years as the pandemic has thrown us one curveball after another. The switch to remote learning, teaching and learning, created a myriad of challenges, but it also created many opportunities. In fact, last fall, the report from the Ad Hoc Committee on Leveraging Best Practices from Remote Teaching on Campus Education noted that one of those opportunities, quote, may be intense and broad focus on, pedagog on pedagogy that remote learning necessitated. The report highlighted how in a moment when nobody could just teach the way they always had done before, all of us had to go back to first principles and ask ourselves, what are our learning goals for our students and how can we best help them to achieve those goals? By coming together today to share learning, teaching and learning innovations happening on our campus and beyond, we are asking the same questions. We are doubling down on our commitment to continuous growth in how we teach, and we are thinking deeply and intentionally about what I often refer to as our work to educate the whole student. The way I see it, the, office of the, the entire office of the chancellor is responsible for partnering, partnering with DLCs across MIT to provide the opportunities, the services, and support that empower MIT students to be happier, healthier, and more successful not only during their time here at MIT, but, but throughout their lives. From the admissions process to commencement and through every challenge and triumph of their undergraduate and graduate studies, we focus on educating the whole student across the many dimensions of their MIT experience. We help to foster students' communities to cultivate their intellectual and personal growth and to support their academic success. The Festival of Learning shines a light on the strategies for advancing all of these really worthwhile goals in our classrooms. Today, you will hear from those who are reinventing education in an iterative process, leaders who, as the theme of this year's festival suggests, are using learning engineering to imply what we know and inspire what we can do to better serve all of our students. They are applying the best approaches from the learning sciences amplifying them and driving ongoing improvements in the learning experience and environment. Here at MIT, a place that relies on data to make informed decisions, learning engineering can provide a framework for us to center in on 
to center in on the learner, to identify the challenges associated with learning, and finally, to apply the learning sciences in data-driven ways to improve instructional approaches. I wish, as, as Cheryl said, I have to leave, I wish I could stay today for, for the keynote discussions. Um, but it's important to me that I be here to welcome you, to lift up this critical work, and to thank you all for your dedication to educating the whole student. I'm now gonna hand off to my colleague, Eric Grimson, our Vice President for Open Learning. He has many titles here, so just bear with me. <laughs> Vice President for Open Learning, Chancellor for Academic Advancement, Bernard Gordon Professor of Medical, Engi of Medical Engineering. I learned something new today. <laughs> and of course, Professor of Political Science, I mean of Computer Science, I'm not gonna bring you over. <laughs> That was a mistake. I'm not going to bring you over to my field. We have, we've done enough damage. Computer science. He will offer a few reflections before the festival keynote begins. Thank you. Thank you, Melissa, for um, kicking off the, the festival. And I'm glad to hear I haven't moved to political science yet, because <laughs> that would be a challenge. Um, Thank you, everybody, for joining us. This is, to me, a great event to celebrate learning at MIT, education at MIT, and the innovations that we all do. Melissa has said many of the things I wanted to say. I'm just going to echo again. The last two years have been challenging. We've all pivoted to try and figure out how to teach in a very different kind of setting. And I want to thank my colleagues for being creative and inventive in trying to think about how do we both do it during a pandemic, but what lessons can we take away to actually think about how we change the way we think about education moving forward. So hats off to all of you for the great things that you've done. Some ways this is a chance to iterate, to use a wonderful computer science term. Um, we can iterate about um, what we've done in the past, we can think about what we've learned, and we can think about what's the next iteration about how we think about teaching and moving forward. I'm basically delighted, though, to introduce our keynote speaker, Broer Saxberg. Um, He's going to talk about learning engineering. Brewer was an MD PhD student. He completed his MIT PhD in 1989 and his Harvard MDA in 1990. Sorry, his Harvard MD in 1990. I had the pleasure of serving on his thesis committee. And I'm just going to tell you, Brewer, I don't have any questions left over from the defense. So you're, you know, we're not going to redo the defense. Um, but it was fun to see um, Brewer's evolution after he left MIT. His experience uh, in learning science and engineering includes roles as chief learning officer at K-12, um, building evidence-based learning for practical use at scale, as chief learning officer at Kaplan, helping convert Kaplan into a learning engineering organization, and as vice president of learning science at the Chan Zuckerberg Initiative, um, working to bring evidence-based practices into learning ecosystems. And he's now the founder of um, Learning Forge LLC, a consulting firm to help a wide range of organizations across education and training ecosystems think about applying learning science to their, their settings. I know in my own experience in talking with Brewer, I find him um, thought-provoking, which is great, but I also find him somebody who thinks deeply about how can we use the MIT style, data-driven, engineering-driven thinking, to think about, in some sense, one of our best products, which is how do we produce better students coming out of that. Broer, the floor is yours. Thank you. 